Hello and welcome to another address architectural tip or trick. Um, in this movie I'm going to explain how to use the array functionality from within the AEC modify tools. And to do that I'm just going to create a very simple um, column grid or setting out grid that I, I might use for a, a start point for putting my walls, doors and windows in. So I've just placed down from the design tool palette on the design tab, I've just placed down one concrete column and I'm going to use that as a, a sort of base point to create my pattern. So the first step would be to select select the column and click the right hand button on the mouse. From the drop down menu that appears, if I hover over the AEC modify tools option, I'll get a fly out menu and the, the top option is array. So left click on, on the array option and the command line will prompt me to select an edge to array from. So if I hover over or hover close to an edge of the column, you should notice that if I hover over the, the right hand edge or the left hand edge, I get a, a blue vertical line appears. And, and what that's telling me is I'm going to be using that edge to array in a horizontal direction from. Similarly, if I hover over the top or the bottom edge, I get a horizontal line and that just tells me that I'm going to use that edge and I'm going to going to be offsetting the columns um, either up from that edge or down from that edge. So in this in instance I'm just going to click on the, the right hand edge of the, of the column I place down and if I move my mouse away you notice that I get a, a white preview of additional columns that I'm going to going to be adding to the drawing. Um, at this point in time, I've got no idea what what distance these columns are apart, and that's obviously something that I need to specify. So, if I if I go back to my command line, one of the options from the, the square brackets is pick array distance. So, to, to select that option, if I just type in P and enter on the command line, the value in the the angled brackets is telling me that at the moment it's going to be offsetting the copies of the, the original column at a distance of a meter between centers. So I'm just going to tweak that so that my columns are, are five meters apart. So type in the new value and click en and press enter. Now when I drag my or move my mouse to the right, you see the columns are being offset at a distance of, of, me of five meter centers. Once I'm, I'm happy with the amount of columns that I've, I'm placing into the drawing, I just simply left click the mouse and it places the, the desired amount into the drawing. So I've now got my first, first row of columns. I need to, to now populate the drawing with, with additional rows. So to do that, I select all of the columns I've just placed down using a, a crossing window from, from right to left. Again, right click the mouse and select AEC Modify Tools Array. This time I'm going to select the bottom edge of one of my columns and that's going to be, be the edge I'm going to offset the copies from. So click on the bottom edge and again when I move my mouse down I get the, the, the white preview when I'm happy with the amount of, of rows I've got in my drawing. Then I can just simply click to finish the command. So very quickly, I've managed to create a, a column grid which I can use for a, a start point for my drawing. I can start placing walls down, um, and I've, I've not used any dialog boxes. It's it's just clicking the mouse. Um, the same result could be achieved by using the, the standard um, AutoCAD array command. But uh, I think this is a, a simpler and quicker way, and you get a visual visual representation of, of what your grid's going to look like. So hopefully that's a useful tip. Um, thank you for listening and keep an eye out on our website for additional tips and tricks.